launching a major report into an area that has provided many problems for young people who have learning disabilities. The report examines how well the arrangements to support young people as they transition from children's to adult services are working. The transition process affects many aspects of young people's lives, from education, training and employment, to health and social care, such as daycare services, independent living and respite care. As the Commissioner for Children and Young People, it is my job to promote the rights and best interests of all children and young people in Northern Ireland. My office has regularly received reports that transitions arrangements are not working for effectively and not protecting young people's rights and best interests. I'm concerned that at a period which should be a time of excitement and opportunity for children and families, the time when young people become adults is instead marked by uncertainty, anxiety and worry that valuable services and supports will actually be reduced. So I asked Queen's University Belfast to produce a report on transitions, which is now published and can be found on my website. The review of transitions highlights that many young people and families experience difficulties due to inconsistencies, gaps and weaknesses in the current arrangements. Young people with learning disabilities face a number of barriers in accessing education and training, including a lack of choice in further education courses, poor options for genuine progression and inconsistency in the availability of supported employment. There is also no standardised age at which a young person leaves moderate learning disability schools. Again, in the fields of health and social care, there are variations in the availability and flexibility of provision, such as daycare, and young people can move to adult services at different ages. Many families do not receive adequate information on the options available to them or support throughout this process. Young people can also experience delays in moving to new services and such a time of uncertainty and change can have a negative impact on the mental health of young people. As young people with learning disabilities prepare to leave the structure of school-based arrangements, it is vital they receive the support they need to ensure the transition is successful. The transitions process must be well planned properly resourced and have the rights and best interests of each young person at its heart. When they signed the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, government made a promise that young people with learning disabilities should enjoy a full and decent life in conditions which ensure dignity, promote self-resilience and facilitate their active participation in the community. It is clear from this report that for many young people with learning disability, this is not the case. I will be asking the Northern Ireland Executive to make sure that the transition planning process is fully integrated across health, education and other departments. That there is effective cooperation between agencies, and that young people and their families receive adequate information to support their decisions and most importantly that the views of young people are properly taken into account. That there has to be a consistent approach across all areas of Northern Ireland when it comes to the transitions for young people with learning disabilities. Please take the time now to read the report. You can find details of the full report and an easy read version on my website.